Hello everybody, it's Sephiroth Level 4 for another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we beat a bunch of fools up and we got ourselves to Petalburg City uh, on a way to find the first uh, Crystal Star. Uh, we also learned about this dragon uh, that's been terrorizing the place. And uh, now we can actually spend time going around, taking in the sights, catching these butterflies for Animal Crossing. Um, what do you have to say? This is Pelberg. It's nice and warm here, and the air is so clean. Such a peaceful hamlet. There's a shop and an inn, so you can buy stuff and rest. Oh, and one more thing. The river is pretty, but falling in nibbles will get you. Yeah, again. That fish thing. It's everywhere. Like I said, it's everywhere. It will find you if you make a mistake. Hi. Um, I don't think the inn is free, just like any other inn. There's no toad houses in this game, I'm afraid. Uh, let's go talk to the bo- Ow. Let's go talk to the bo before we take a look at these other colorful, ca colorful characters. Tap the morning. Tis I, bo -bulber. I'm as happy as can be. Why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Yeah, the bo in this game do not play the same role that they do in the first game, but they exist. You so tail in your way here, you sure big old dragon tail like a hook. Wow, you're super duper lucky I didn't see you. I'm not even kidding with you. I didn't see you, I'm sure it would gobble you up like an after dinner bid. It must have been stuffed or thought you looked gross at any rate. You were lucky. Alright. And this little kid is famous in this game. Hey, what's up? I gotta say I really like them playing GBA games lately. There's this one game that's just absolutely rules it's called Fire Emblem. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my sex! Uh, yeah, the Nintendo put this in here as a promotion for the recent Fire Emblem game that was ported finally to the U.S. Uh, it's pretty good. I've played it. I like it. This kid sure is a fanatic. All he talks about is video games. You notice that? wonder if he's finished his homework for today. You know, homework's important too. Oh, shush. Uh, is that all? I think he changes the game that he's talking about later, maybe after you beat the chapter. Hi. Huh. I'm General, right? I'm a ba bomb And I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize by asking you. Leave me alone. No, oh, that's General White, the bob -omb. I guess white bob are ra pretty rare. What's that supposed to mean? He has a cool mustache, too. He might even give your lip a run for its money. Not likely. Okay. Hey, uh, well, come in, I guess. Door's open. Oh, Hooktail? They lives at the top of that old castle beyond, the hum beyond this hummock. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasures in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but not a one has returned. So what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? This guy's apparently a total diehard peach fan. He even collects peach merchandise. He has posters and pictures up everywhere. Boy, get a life, you know what I mean? Again, sass, I love it. Hey, Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of peach pl pl plush peach dolls, too! No, that's, that's, that's ridiculous. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, anyway. <clears throat> uh, yeah, let's check out the item shop because items are fun. Sorry if you hear lots of clicking. I GameCube controllers are noisy. Hello, mustache. Uh, yeah, so they have the Mr. Softener here, which lowers enemies' defense, and a courage shell, which raises your defense, which is pretty neat. Again, uh, I don't think I need most of this. I'm gonna buy a honey syrup just because I don't have a lot of those. Yeah, he tells you about the point system that I told you about. Nope. Points, yeah, you get a points, you get prizes. Excellent, now you're free to shop. All right, we have one point. Uh, we're, again, we're gonna be pretty overpowered. Um, let's talk to you, you weirdo. Ah, bonjour, mademoiselle. It is a beautiful day, no? No, 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 no. Not you, monsieur mustache. In speaking, there's a lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon this dullard and come away with moi. Ew! Are you kidding? Ew! Nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, Bozo the Dork! Oh, 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 sacre bleu. That's brutal. Honestly, such a sharp tongue. Well, I will treat for now. If you change your mind, Sherry, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. Oh, God. This guy keeps showing up. Ew! What's with this guy? Hi, gross me. I'm just being near this weirdo. All right, fine. Whatever. His name's Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. <laughs> oh, man. So much better than Goombaro. 
man, oh man, I love the writing in this game. This game has, like, more writing than almost every other game I've seen. It's ridiculous. In a good way. <laughs> this village is very nice. Clear, wa clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hotel has made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Okay, I'm not going to be uh, tattling everybody. Just a lot of people. Boy, the mayor's been forgetful lately. I'm actually worried that the old Gipper may even forget my face one of these days. Yeah, you, generic Koopa. Hey, look, the scary is the monster lives in the fortress near town. I mean, normal, normal attacks are completely useless against it. At least that's what I heard. Oh, and there's that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. The very idea freaks me out. Whoa, no. Hello. Well, hello there. My name's Koopiku. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? Yeah. I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hooktail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you. Uh, that's Koopiku, a local pedal burger. She seems to be Koops' girlfriend. Gosh, she's really cute. She seems to have good head on her, too. Thing is, because she's smart, she kind of mothers Koops a little bit. I guess it's a complicated relationship, but then again, what relationship isn't? Uh, Sephiroth and Genova, this is not complicated at all. Hi, are you alright there? Um, hi there, folks. Did you come to this village to look for the treasure of Hooktail's castle? Well, that Hooktail's one tough cookie. That's Koops from Petalburg. He's got confidence issues. He's a cringer, you know? But he's definitely got a serious interest in Hooktail. I wonder why. Well, I'm sure that will never be brought up again. See you later, Koops. Uh, yeah, our purpose here, if you guys remember, was to talk to the mayor, who supposedly lives in this fancy house. Ah, uh, I didn't know I could do that. Turtley Leaf. Um, yeah, just like in the last game, Turtley Leaf restores a little bit of FP, can be found by where the Koopas are. And once we unlock cooking later, spoilers, this game also has cooking, uh, we'll be able to make tea out of it. Oh man, are you almost as good as Koopa Koop? Well, let's, let's hear what she has to say. That's Croup, the mayor of Petalburg. He just babbles whether he's alone or not. I just can't tell if he's really senile, if he's just working at that angle, you know? Unfortunately, uh, the trouble center takes the place of Koopa Koot's uh, requests in this game. Who was that? Someone there? Who was it? Who? What do you want from me? I know your thieves here robbed a fence on Koopa. Despicable! <laughs> No, 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 no. Go on, do what you will, but you can plainly see there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, you fiends, in my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story, then? Oh, wait, you folks look for crystal stars? Yeah. Well, why don't you pipe up for you, idiot? <laughs> We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars, you say, were hunted. Well, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Uh -huh, I got it! Hooktail, hooktail sky, what you looking for? It's this enormous ornery dragon eats folks, they say. You know hooktail, right? I may have heard the name. Well, this hooktail's brutal fly-by snackings of all of all of us are pins and needles. What is he, tubba blubba? So are you reckless fools? I, I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough it up? <laughs> the fool is gonna... I mean, the sheriff is gonna do it! <laughs> uh, what? Hold on now. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid of Sunktail, I shout you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that? I hear you'll accept with no rewards. I didn't say that. What an unselfish man. You're noble indeed. You're up a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? Mario. Murphy? Oh. <laughs> Mm, that's a fine name. Yeah, that's a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. It, the name is Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hookdale Castle, find the secret pipe near this village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you need stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in Schwang Fortress. <laughs> Just pass the village. Get them first. Oh, yeah. All right. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that hooktail monster. 
<laughs> oh god. I love that old man. Yeah, so once again, as I said, uh, Mario's name gets um, butchered in so many ways in this game. You got an email. You got an email! As you travel, you may receive email from people you met on your journey. You can read these emails on your mailbox SP. Uh, they were trying to promote the Game Boy Advance SP at the time. If you can't tell, uh, just like uh, Luigi's Mansion was the uh, the Game Boy Horror instead of the Game Boy Color, then, then again it came out around the time of the Advance, but whatever. Uh, and I think Luigi's Mansion 2 is the dual scream. Um, also, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga, there was a Game Boy Advance thing, as far as I can remember. Which they may have changed for later game. Oh, whatever. Anyway, yeah. You'll find under important things in your gear section. Let's go check our mail. Uh, so first, frankly. Hello, Mario. Working hard. Professor Frankly here in e form. It's highly likely you'll receive emails like this uh, once in a while on your journey, so check your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that, so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting those uh, more information on those crystal stars. Professor Frankly he even sent us a picture. And RDM registration. Direct mail verification. Dear Mr. Mario, thank you for registry registering with Rogue Power Direct Mail RDM service. Your kind friend, Mr. Frankly, referred you to us. Our direct mail service will provide you with regular, timely news updates. We hope you enjoy our service. Published by the Rogue Power Restoration Committee. Um, so that's really not going to be big on plot. It's more going to be interesting side things. Again, it's it's mostly going to be flavor stuff. And I'm fine with that. Uh, forgot whose house this is. Hi. Hey, since you're here, let me ask, how many people do you think Hooktails gobbled? At all time, uh, all time, I mean. I heard it recently launched on Old Man Scoo two villages over. And Coops, who lives next door, his father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. Wait, no, that's not. Missing Koopa ever since. So the toads consider themselves people, then. That's toasty. A toad from Pittleburg. She seems really huffy about something. Sure seems straight. Uh, sure does keep straight face, though. I guess she's a pretty tough cookie. Toasty. Uh, uh, uh. Do you have a name? That's a toad from Pittleburg. Seems like a regular toad to me. Hey, Hooktail's scary. Is the monster? But so is the monster lives in the fortress near town. What did you say? He was the president of the Luigi fan club. Yeah. Secret life. No strong called called Trunk Fortress lies ahead. Stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. The gates keep it out. My guard, my job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Yeah, you be careful with that gate. Gates don't have good, good lifespans in this. Uh, excuse me. Uh, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment, please. Am I the one that voiced Cooper in in that Let's Play? Not Cooper, Coops. I th I think I did the voice for Coops in Cyrus's Let's? No, not Cyrus. Was it Cyrus? I don't think it was Jeffrey. Now I don't remember. Good job, Dovey. I think I did Coops. Anyway, pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. So anyway, I, uh, have a favor to ask you. How are you wearing a sweatshirt on- under your shell? How does that work? Well, well... Um... Oh, just- just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. Bella, that's not nice. He's shy. Anyway, now we're going this way. Oh, hi. <laughs> it's always good to check all these uh, places. I don't think there's really much in any of these other trees or things. Oh. Wow, I checked that instead of jumping. Also, now we're introduced to a new enemy. We got evil Koopas here. Um, I keep pressing L 
to switch characters. I don't know, uh, cause maybe that was in the previous game. No, it was Z in the other game, wasn't it? That's so weird. I, well, I guess Z was where the trigger was there. So, like my trigger finger, the Z button is, is where in the N64 control. Anyway. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. Uh, the shells are hard, but flip them over and defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Luckily, we can do that. Wow, that sucked. Um, Mario jumped earlier than I thought he would. Yeah. Uh, luckily, it also wastes a turn for them. Yeah, so you can differentiate the good Koopas and the bad Koopas by the shell color and the fact that they wear sunglasses and, like, chokers and stuff. Ow! Always nice when a truck delivers a package right in the middle of a recording. Alright, so yeah, beat that guy, and I don't think there's anything else to check out here, but there is a spiked Goomba. Alright, and here we get a POW block. Attack all ground-bound enemies. This item is going to be immediately and entirely necessarily necessary and useful, because when we enter the fortress here, the door is locked. Nope, it just won't open. Wonder what we should do. Whoa! Yeah, you gotta fight here against these uh, bald clefts here. Did it again. I'm gonna do it every time. I'm gonna press the L button. Uh, so these bald clefts, uh, they actually didn't exist in, in the first game. We just had clefts with spikes on them, which I wonder why they didn't have the bald version there, but uh, you can check them out here. That's a bald cleft, basically a rock monster with a swarthy looking face. Uh, this kind of mean, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Max HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 2. Yeah, this guy is rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to attack with, say, a POW block. Uh, so there's two ways to combat this guy. A POW block or a power smash, because uh, jumping on them won't do any damage, because um, you'll just do 1 and 1, which it's 2 defense will cancel out. Normal hammer will also just do 2 damage, but the power smash will do more. So if you want to use power smash on both of them and just take a little longer to kill them, that works fine. Um, the game is kind of telling you to try out the POW block, and that's what we're going to do. Because that's just, that's the easy way to do this, and that's really what you're supposed to do. Uh, what the POW block would do if it didn't kill them would be to turn them over, as well as the damage. And then they would be uh, vulnerable to attacks, uh, once their undersides were exposed. Uh, if you're fighting Koopa enemies, it would turn them over too instantly, which is nice. And we head out here. Speaking of Koopa enemies, that was a bad idea. <laughs> I should have jumped on him. Oh god, that one is a pow block, so I think we know who we're going after first. Because <laughs> if they use pow block on us, that's gonna hurt. And yeah, the enemies can use the items that they have. Surprise! Ow. Sometimes the enemies will drop the items that, that they have there. Um, yeah, sometimes the enemies will drop the items that they have there after battle, but we'll see. Uh, do we get a bonus? Yay! Bingo! It's our first bingo of the game. Let's see if we can actually get any more. The star power is full! And so is the crowd. It's not really going to do much for us, but it's still nice. Yeah, look at all that stylish. Ah, oh, no pad block. <clears throat> That's okay because just about over somewhere. Give me that coin. There we go. <laughs> Get another pad block right there. Come on. And the reason why we wanted to get that POW block is because... We got these guys. Hello! Yeah, these guys are scary as heck. These are new enemies and, and I don't like them. 
This is part of Schwank Forge. I got a couple pedals to use here. That's it. Still to archaeologists. This place is a gold mine. I gotta come back sometime. Yeah, these guys are, are scary. When I first played this game, I was just like, oh my god! Um, this is a bristle. I didn't press L. <laughs> now, that's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly! Max HP is 2, attack is 1, defense is 4. And they're impervious to fire, so no... Um, yes, yeah, uh, power smash is indeed going to work on them. Uh, fire flowers will not work on them. Uh, even trying to get close enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. As you can see with the way that their arms are, uh, they're actually like little spears. So if you try to get close to it to hit it with a hammer, it will automatically counterattack you. Uh, there's a few enemies like that. Um, that will spike you from the side as opposed to if you just try to jump on them. Uh, seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. Since you can't jump on it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Uh, so the literal only way to defeat them at this point in the game is with the POW block. If you do not have a POW block, you can go back and try to buy one or something because that is the only way to progress. Unlike the last time where you can power smash your way through... Ow. Um, this is not one of those instances. But now that we've conquered two horrendous enemies in the Schwank Fortress... What awaits us in the lands beyond? An outside area! Oh no! Find out in the next episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In between episodes, I'm just gonna clear the enemies off the screen here, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.